Um, and I just wanted to come, I know, share because I feel like this is helping me to process. But I am four weeks today for my surgery date, which is kind of crazy. Um, when I first <laughs> started talking to my doctors, I just kept saying like January because this was like May because it felt so far away. <laughs> um, and now we're so close. So four weeks from today, I just had my second pre-op -op appointment for this week. So I met with my plastic surgeon, which will do reconstruction. I met with him on Tuesday. And I just met with my general surgeon. I'll actually do the mastectomy today. It's my first time meeting her in person. Um, yeah, feeling okay. Feeling all the things kind of every day. Uh, but today I feel okay. Um, never wavered on the choice. She did ask me if I was nervous. And I said, well, yeah, I mean, I'm not excited, but like, I've never doubted it's the right decision for me. So, so that's good, even when it's a hard one. But yeah, so now I'm going to cry. Um, so yeah, four weeks from today is my surgery day. That'll be whatever it'll be. It'll be what it'll be. Um, I can't believe it's almost that time. All right, that's all. Literally all I'm gonna say because I don't know what else to say or why I'm doing this or who the hell watches them. But <sighs> oh, uh, I guess the other thing. Well, the reason I'm doing this is because people should be getting tested and screened and do all of the preventative stuff they can do. In my opinion, at least in my humble opinion, I think people should be doing that. Which includes, like, I had another um, ovarian ultrasound on Friday to make sure that my ovaries are okay. Um, because BRCA puts you at a high risk for breast cancer and ovarian cancer. And so that scan came back clean. Um, it's really important to do those as, as well as the blood test for it. Um, because it's not a very good test. It only, both the uh, ultrasound and blood, only would tell you if you already had a stage 3. Um, so, not ideal either way. But uh, we will... I'll cross the, my fallopian tube over a bridge later this year, I think, is the plan in my head. Maybe next year. I don't know yet. But um, it'll happen as well. Just the breast was more... Felt like the ticking time bombs just because of my mom. So all's going well. Another breast exam. It seemed fine. I was joking with my friends. Like, now these C's are getting degrees. They're, they're, pa they're passing the test just like my C's passed me in college so uh I don't know stupid joke but so it is so yeah so I'll just ignore that I'm gonna have surgery in a month and pretend that my friends are coming out to watch movies with me and have donuts <laughs> so that's way better okay that's it for me uh I don't know get tested for things if you're able to if you have a family history of cancer See if any of it's genetic. See if there's genetic pre-markers that put you at elevated risks because it helps you know, can inform your decisions. And I don't know. It's like reading rainbow or whatever. It's like the more you know. All right, I'm done. Bye.